Today we're making Vietnamese stuffed squid. All right, so first I'm gonna start with marinating the pork, the filling, right? It's gotta be the star of the show. So, I'm just gonna slice up some green onion here. Add salt and pepper. A little lime. I'm gonna add some fish sauce. And then oyster sauce, keeping with the uh, seafood theme. I'm just gonna love it. Now I'm gonna show you a cool basil trick. So this is Thai basil. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the biggest leaf and we're gonna slowly sort it from largest to smallest. But then you just roll it up and then you can just cut it all at once. I believe that's called a chiffonade. Add that in there. Next, the cilantro. That's close enough for me. I'm trying to win awards here. Then last, some shiitake, well actually not last. But shiitake mushrooms. Mushrooms in. Now is like an interesting addition. These uh, rice noodles. It's like a very uh, Vietnamese thing. And you don't have to do this, by the way. This is an optional step. I've just seen a lot of other recipes include it, so I feel like I should too. So that is the last thing for our pork. So now I'm just gonna get in there with my hands and mix it up. And so I'm just gonna leave that to the side, let it marinate a little bit while we get ready for the other stuff. All right, so the last thing we're gonna prep before we start with the squid is we're gonna get our aromatics ready. So we got these uh, Thai chilies here. They're actually a little bit spicy. You don't need too many of these, but we're gonna need them uh, for the aromatics portion as well as for the sauce at the end to make that, uh, that Vietnamese dipping sauce. That should be plenty for cooking the dish. Now I think we need about two or three for the sauce. I'm just gonna set this part aside. And for the rest of the aromatics, I'm gonna get some ginger. So we're just getting five strips of thin ginger. And then garlic. And if you smash it like that, I don't even think you need to, to cut it at all. Because we're just trying to release all the flavors in the garlic. All right, so we got this for our aromatics. And we are ready to go to work on our squid. All right, so now that you've got your squid and you've touched it with your bare hands, uh, no one you love will ever touch you or talk to you again, so Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna break the squid down. And I learned how to do this yesterday without looking up how to do it, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Uh, and from what I found out, it looks like you can just take the body here and just pull. It comes out of the head. Next, you want to get this thing right here. This little, like, quill. And I think this is what people used to use for pens, right? Nope. Now, you think you're done, but actually there's more stuff up in here. So then just gingerly or aggressively finger this thing. Oh my. And then pull out. All of this stuff. Oh All right, so now we want to get out. This outer layer is actually like a membrane or something. So we're going to get these little fins off the side. And then that carries all of this like extra skin on the outside with it. And there you go. It's all broken down and ready to use for whatever you want. What you're gonna do next is you're gonna try and get it open and you're gonna take your filling and start stuffing it in. And it is going to be difficult. One eternity later. Got a good amount in there. So I'm going to take a toothpick 
and I'm going to close it up. So go through one side, through and out the other. There you go. That'll hopefully keep most of the filling in there. And it'll also help when we're cooking it, it'll help us turn it over so we can get both sides. And you're just gonna keep doing that until you're done with all your squid. All right, that didn't take any time at all, right? Nope. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to uh, fry up our aromatics. So I got a skillet over here. We're going to heat that up. I'm gonna add some olive oil to the skillet. So what I'm gonna do is once this heats up a little bit, I'm gonna pour in our ginger, uh, Thai chilies, and garlic. And we're just gonna let that fry in the oil for a minute or two, release all those flavors. Then I'm gonna add about an inch of water to the skillet, and then we add in our squid, and we're gonna let it simmer in that until it's done. A little water. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> do you smell it? gonna make our dipping sauce. So we have our chilies here. I'm gonna add a lot of fish sauce to that. Now we're gonna add some lime. Damn, this is a tough lime. Some rice vinegar. Sugar. So this is gonna give us that like spicy, sweet, acidic, savory dipping sauce. Ooh, ooh, powerful. <coughs> oh, we're dying! <laughs> I'm just gonna add our squid in. And then the toothpick is gonna help it stay how you place it. And then once it's done on one side, we're gonna flip it to the other side. All right, so we're gonna flip it. You see that? The translucency is completely gone. All right, it's been about 10 minutes, so I'm just gonna take these off. I'm not sure if it's like if you cook them too uh, high or it's just overstuffing, but some of them will rupture. So the way we're gonna serve these is we're just gonna slice them. Put that there. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. I'll go without the sauce first, see how that is. Ooh. That's way better than when I tested this last night. Even without the sauce, that's really good, it's juicy. Let's see, with the sauce. Oh, mm. that is so good. Mm. I'm really happy with how that turned out. That was worth stuffing squids for an hour and getting peppered juice in my lungs. Comment below for any squid themed dishes you might have.